Our first car at the line is the Solar Eagle 2 from Cal State University. 34 cars, 34 eager and hopeful teams line up in Arlington, Texas at the start of the 1993 race for electric cars powered just by sunlight. In pole position, Cal State Los Angeles, fastest qualifier and a top contender to finish first in Minneapolis seven days from now. Dark solar panels, which make about enough electricity to run a hair dryer, cover the car's removable body shell. A couple of months earlier, I had visited the Cal State team for a closer look. Get a lean on this. You lean in the middle of this tube where there's a member. That's fine. Team captain and engineering student, Ricardo Espinoza, explained the controls. Is that the brake? Yeah. Okay. Watch out. The rules allow limited battery capacity on board. That's what's powering the car right now. But once the race starts, battery charging is permitted only with the solar panels. I can't go fast enough to crash it, I don't think. Although he looks like it's going fast. <laughs> The Cal State car is certainly fast, but the cars will need more than speed. Energy efficiency, reliability, and teamwork inside the chase vans are going to be just as important. There's some thunder heads over there. Oh, we lost power. Things just went down. Pull over the side. Out of power, guys. Over, over, over. Just two hours into the race, Cal State LA's chase van detects a fault in the car and radios the driver to pull over. We're 20 minutes ahead. No breakdowns. Start the panel off. Panel through. Panel through. Everything else? Get a fuse. Get a fuse. We got a fuse. Always try the simple things first. But the fuse doesn't do it. This is getting serious. Out come the manuals. These cars are complex pieces of high technology developed over years. So Ricardo and his team have no idea if this is fixable. They'll try replacing the electronic black box that controls the motor. But while they're at work, their deadliest rivals sail by. First, the University of Michigan. Then, Cal Poly, Pomona. At the midday stop, 80 miles from the start, Michigan rolls in first, followed within minutes by Pomona. All the way from Arlington, there's been full cloud cover, so everyone's had to run on batteries. Well, the sun was out in Ada, so the leaders had several hours to charge up after they arrived. And that's what the top teams expected. It should suit Cal State LA with their fast car, but they've lost four hours. We are probably better than we, we could be. We could be stuck in the road. We were lucky that we could uh, get the car running and uh, our motor controller, our two of them blew up, and we got back on the road. Day two. And once again, the top three are racing toward the sun that's been predicted for the afternoon. Only minutes separate Michigan, Pomona, and George Washington, although the stragglers are now 12 hours behind. Under full power conditions, George Washington's lightweight car could be faster than Pomona or Michigan. So today, GW makes a push for the lead. Pomona manages to keep up. And soon, they're both out ahead, running at top speed, about 45 miles an hour. Right on schedule, Pomona and George Washington run into the predicted afternoon sun. Michigan's now running third. It's probably the most energy efficient car with the best range. But when the sun's out and batteries are full, it can lose on speed. 
sure enough, Michigan lost day two to Pomona, who was now only one minute behind overall. Pomona came in ahead of GW as well. Coming in fourth today, Cal State LA pulling up from 17th place to seventh. Although they're still hours behind the leaders. Uh, a lot better than yesterday. Uh, been running hard. Uh, hope to get some sunshine though. We're really depending on it now. But uh, we're really happy with how the car is performing. Day three, sunny conditions forecast all day. It's gonna be bad in the morning, huh? Tomorrow looks bad. Yeah, well, it is. And, and that, you know, drive on the high side of what we give them. Don't be always having us uh, having to push them up in speed. As day three begins, Cal State strategists have their eye on tomorrow. There are storms moving in, and when that happens, accurate weather forecasts and energy budgeting will become critical. And you are going to make a left. Then four. But for today, doing here is trying to set the speed of the car uh, and adjust it uh, along the way to make sure that when we end up the day, we just used up all of our batteries and we don't have anything left. But we we haven't uh, had to stop before we get to the finish line. Today, Cal State LA hopes to use their speed to move up through the pack. Soon after the start, they get past George Washington. But it's going to be a frustrating day. A minor problem to fix, and GW repasses. A few miles down the road, the two trade places again. And again, a few miles later. Cal State's a match for third place GW, but overall, they're still several hours behind after their first day disaster. Day four. With storms moving in, it's going to be a day for the strategists. How far down can the batteries be run? Will there be sun to recharge later? The leaders head out with confidence, but holding their cards close to their chests. If you were to ask me about the state of the battery charge, I don't think I'd give you a straight answer. Um, you could ask me probably three times, and I might give you three different answers. And that's what, where the guessing game is right now. Where is everybody, what, what their state of charge is. Because once the clouds come up, it's your batteries that, that are going to make you win the race. It's clear the fast cars are going to try to stay ahead of the weather. By midday, almost the whole field has been caught by the storm. All except six of the cars have run their batteries down. Cal State LA won today's leg, but things don't look good for tomorrow. We're hoping for some light. We really need it. And uh, it might be a race where who can, tra who can get further down the road and trailer in the least amount of miles. If you think this should be enough to stop any solar car, think again. As race time approaches, here comes Michigan. Within an hour, everybody's either crawling along on their last few watts of battery power, or they've ground to a halt. With sun all the way for the last two legs, the next three cars managed to chip a few minutes off Michigan's lead. But only some major failure can change things now. Energy efficiency, planning, strategy, weather forecasting.